when you go through an amicable divorce, a default with written agreement, like with our clients, that's all we focus on. They can, they have the ability to uh, make any decisions they want. They can have no child support. They can, again, they're not waiving it. They're just saying, yeah, child support was calculated at X, but we agree that child support will be zero. And we have some language we put in there to make that happen. So if you're going through an amicable divorce, there's a way of having that happen. You can terminate spousal on long-term marriage through a waiver you would sign. And we have special language to have uh, child support uh, set at zero. And we get a lot of flack from this uh, because people say, hey, how are you getting zero support orders through the court? It's called a non-guideline order. There's actually a form for it. And you basically say, here's the spousal support calculation. Let's say it was $1,000, but where the parties agree uh, and not under duress that it's in the best interest of the minor children that spouse or the child support be set at zero. So we do that all day long. Lots of our clients, even though there would be child support built in, they just don't want an official court order for whatever reason. They're handling their kids financially outside of court, and that's totally fine. Otherwise, the courts would not allow that.